goal with this activity is to work on improving your hip mobility, your lower body strength, and it's also a nice move to stretch out the upper body. I'll program this move for someone who needs both inhalation and exhalation mechanics in the pelvis with a slight more exhalation bias. So if someone's got limited hip extension and limited hip flexion, this is a great move. And I'm going to hold it low so I bias a little bit more inhalation mechanics, so a little bit more hip flexion. This sounds like someone you're working with or yourself, this moves for you. Here's what you're going to do. Get yourself set up so you have a ramp or a, a plate where you can elevate the heel and you want to get something to elevate the back foot on. This could be some DC blocks, you could use a, a small book that you don't like. You could, if you got something that's really good, set up in a rear foot position. But for our intents and purposes, we're going to start with a low position. We'll assume that the individual we're working with has a, a decent limitation in hip extension. You're going to set up to where the weight is going to be on the front side leg, or in the arm that's on the same side as the front side leg. And you want one foot on the block or whatever it is you're using to elevate. From this position, you're going to tuck the hips, let out a nice exhale to set the rib cage. As you go down, you're going to take a knee. Imagine that you are doing this in a phone booth, so you don't want to go too far forward or too far back. As you lower yourself, take a knee, breathe in. You're going to exhale, come back up. Keep the tuck, exhale position. And again. If you get it right, you're going to feel a lot of quad and butt on the front leg. You'll feel a slight stretch on the back leg too. And that's how it's done. Give it a shot.